like. I hope that you had a really good week. So this week we're going to be doing, uh, for those of you that aren't in contact, is your person going to contact you and when? So we're going to go really into the specifics of when that contact is going to occur and we're going to use the very sexy Lenoma to do that. So we'll start off by just doing your cards, uh, your two separate decks and then we'll add Lenoma into those decks as well. So we're using a beautiful, mythical, magical one by Baba Studios. Uh, I read for a girl the other day um, and she wanted to see them. So I thought we'd use these on the deck number one. And we're going for the Lion Strider Tarot on deck number two. So go to the deck that you are most drawn to, to begin with. And then as you're drawn to that deck, I want you to feel your energy and your heart for your person. And really feel it kind of pushing into the deck that you are most drawn to. If you can't feel the energy pushing in, just visualize a pink pink colour and a green colour going towards the, the deck that you want. Okay, number one, number two. Let's do this. Okay, deck number one. Are they going to contact you? So I hope you all had a really good week. As always, this works. Oh, that did not work. As always, this works on the strongest mutual energy for you all. So it goes into all your energies, goes into all your people's energy, and it pulls out the strongest mutual energy between you all. So if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it for a later date. Think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought process? Says, I had a bit of a cold this week, but it seems to have vanished now. It's coughing and uh, I was sneezing and spluttering on the, on the readings yesterday, but it's, it's gone now. All finished. Okay. All possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes of deck number one. I hope you all enjoyed seeing Poppy last week. I know it's been a long time since you've seen her. Um, I wish there was a way I could get her running in the background again, but it's a completely different house, completely different setup, and it's not so easy. Okay, can you tell me, is their person going to contact them? Is their person going to get in contact? Deck number one. Okay, so the first thing that I'm getting through my right ear um, is a Green Day song. I can't remember the specifics of it. I think it was Basket Case where it said, do you have the time to listen to me whine about no nothing and everything all at once? So that automatically signifies that there is going to be contact coming in between you all because your person... Um, or you are wanting to communicate with them and have a whine, have a whinge about where life is and what's been going on. Um, they haven't vanished into the sunset. Even if they have disappeared for the time being, they haven't gone far. So they are still watching you. They are watching you from the sideline, I am hearing. Uh, so it's possible that your person is stalking you on social media or Instagram or Facebook, whatever social media it is that you guys work with, um, your person is watching what you are up to. Let me just get three more of the tarot. Will they contact? This deck is so beautiful. My friend Marion, um, she's the one that recommended this deck to me. You can go check out her readings. At, uh, she does Marion K Tarot. She's my dear friend. I met her at the Tarot Conference last year. She's fabulous. Will they contact one? I'm so glad she recommended it too. And if you ever wanted tattoos or something that was a little bit more magical and mystical, this is a beautiful deck to do it with. Okay, so first and foremost, your person and you, you have got a very, very strong connection between the two of you. You have a very strong addiction energy coming up. Look at that devil card. How beautiful is that? So beautiful. Um, very, very strong addiction energy coming up between the two of you. Very strong sexual chemistry, very strong passionate energy. But just like the devil, it's kind of hard with the devil energy. It's always hard to break the chain and to break the connection. So if your person has wandered into the sunset, vanished into the mist of beyond, ghosted you, disappeared, your person is still thinking about you. You are still very much in their energy. And this is a connection that they cannot easily break. So they will find their way back to you. No matter how far they wander, spirit is saying, they they will come back. They will keep coming back. And just because um, 
you know, it's happened this time. If it's happened to you before and the, the connection vanished, it will come back again. With that spirit also saying that if they left the door open for you and didn't tell you that they didn't want anything more to do with you, um, for the select few of you, that door is still open. And when that door is open, this connection can keep coming back. And that is what their intention was. By not telling you how they were feeling or what was going on, they thought, we'll leave the door open and then I can just wander back when I am ready. Now, it's a very strong kind of energy coming up here um, of dancing with the devil. Remember, it doesn't necessarily, it doesn't mean the devil. It doesn't mean the, the physical entity of devil. It's very much about being chained to connections, to beliefs, to sexual energy. And that is where you guys are at. Okay, so with this, it's kind of that art of seduction energy coming forward. Your person knows exactly what buttons to push with you to get you back into the palm of their hand. And that is what their intention is going to be. So when they do come back and communicate and contact you, you're going to have to be really careful that you don't get sucked into this trap again. Because if you do, the same cycle will keep repeating. So you need to be stepping into your Queen of Swords energy. Your person is standing in this kind of King of Wands energy at the moment, very passionate, very sexual, uh, very acting on the chemistry between the two of you. And just like the genie, you can see it's a genie over here. How beautiful is that? Um, just like the genie in Aladdin, he can make all of your wishes come true. Um, but with the devil card next to it, there is a little bit of a warning behind this that beware of falsities when they do connect and communicate with you. Learn to see through what they are saying and pay attention to their actions, okay? So yes, the connection isn't over. Yes, there will be contact, but you do just need to be a little bit wary that you pay attention to their actions and not their words. Your person's feeling very lonely at this moment in time. You guys are also feeling that. You're wanting this connection to re-establish, to reconnect. Um, your person does want that, but at the moment they're kind of pressing pause on it a little bit. The reason why they are pressing pause on it is because they aren't really ready for any kind of conflict that might come from the situation. They know that they haven't handled this situation correctly. They know that they haven't treated you right, um, but they know that if they get back in touch with you at this moment in time, it might be a little bit too intense for them a bit too deep for them to bear so they've still got their, their armor on spirit just show me a clairvoyant image of, of someone wearing armor they have still got that armor on at this moment in time as the connection goes on and the timing kind of progresses between the two of you this armor that they are wearing is going to drop and just like fire from the fire over here spirit are saying that the armor is going to melt and they will come back to you with a sense of vulnerability but you do need to, again, pay attention to their actions and not their words. Their actions is what's going to count for this connection to really go in the direction that you want it to. And you guys need to stay in that Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands energy for this connection to go back into your favour. So yes, automatically connections going on here. Um, it's already in you guys' energy. So all of your, again, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. But the mutual energy is that your person is already there in the background. Okay, So this connection is ready to re-establish your person is just pressing pause on that um they've been kind of gathering their strength over it all they've been thinking it all through um i just heard the lamb lamb and the lion there was a story in that i'm sure there was a story about a lamb and a lion i'm not entirely sure why but i'm sure one of you will know if you do know bung it in the description because spirit just said it really really clearly in the comments even spirit just said lamb and lion really clearly so they've been thinking it through they've been trying to gather their strength um they've wanted to re-establish this, this connection for a little bit of time but they've been a bit frightened to do it because they don't know how you were going to take it what's actually going to happen so they are just standing on the sideline at the moment watching what you're up to watching what's going on in your world via social media also via connecting with friends or family for a couple of you as well well, also just saw then um, that one person specifically uh, feels to be in India, your person is going to come back towards you and there is definitely a proposal of marriage coming up and the letter associated with your person is the letter P. Okay, so very specific message in there for one of you. Uh, maybe Pritam or something along those lines. There's a very strong connection happening there. So your person that has been gathering their strength, they've been thinking how to progress this situation forward. Um, they want to make these moves towards you. They are missing you, um, but they just don't really know how to do it at this moment. So whilst they're not sure what to do, they're not doing anything at all. They're just waiting to see how it all unfurls, but keeping tabs on you. So through that, you have this movement back towards you, chariot star, being on the right path, things shifting, directions being taken. Um, you both want the same things, spirits say. Um, you both want the same things, but you both go about it very different ways. 
Okay, and this is where the yin yang energy comes forward. This is the light, the dark, the good, the bad, the right, the wrong, the female, the male, the black, the white, um, any kind of diverse energy of that, the duality that why we are here is coming up into your energies. So really what this is signifying is you want the same things, but you at very different opposite ends of the spectrum as the yin and yang, the male and the female. Okay. So just keep that at the back of your mind as well, that you do want the same things as your person. There is also this need for open and honest communication to come up between you guys. Your person hasn't always been very good at communicating how they're feeling or what they want. And um, the reason for that is because when they start communicating about feelings and emotions they can often feel vulnerable they spent so long gathering up their strength um, to, to bury things under the surface that when it comes to really talking about emotions they can find it hard now some of that is issues kind of going back to childhood as well spirit is saying so it could be issues here when um for, for some of you guys where the father left and he was your person was just left with the mother it's just an example um, and they had to act like the male of the family so they buried the emotions down deep so that they could be strong for their mother. And again, it's an example, but there is a lot of kind of childhood issues coming up here, which explains why your person doesn't often express their emotions towards you. So yes, overall, there is contact coming, but yeah, let's get the timing on it. Can you tell me when this contact is coming? Just be aware of these falsities. When will their people get in touch with them? Okay, so you've definitely got um, a social gathering that is going to be happening between the two of you. So it looks like you guys are going to be meeting up, talking things through. Your person is going to reveal to you their true emotions once they feel that they have stepped away from this vulnerability. Um, so they will talk to you about where it's going um, and they will talk to you about the future that the two of you have. And you have book, garden, book and anchor with that. Timing on this is the 20th. So it's either going to be 20 days or the 20th of a month. OK, with garden being the 20. You've got 20 days, 20 or the 20th of a month as your collective timing. So it does look like there's gonna be a social gathering. There is gonna be communication coming forward in that social gathering where your person is gonna let that you more into their heart and explain things um, with a long-term plan with Anchor over here, the winner of the game of, game of Hope being the stability and security that comes with that. So 20 days or the 20th of a month. Please, again, just a little bit of a warning coming up and with the book over here as well, this is talking about just be wary of falsities. Please pay attention once more to their actions and not their words. They are gonna contact you um, on the 20th or in 20 days, okay? 20th of a month or 20 days. There is a collective timing on that. If you want to look at individual timings, just give me a shout. We can do it over single email questions if you don't want to book a full reading. Um, but this kind of genie energy coming up over here, you can get everything you want from this situation, but we have to break this toxic energy that comes forward with it. And that is going to be coming forward with the open communication that you two talk with one another, you talk it all through, you talk things um, through openly and honestly. And if you do that, then this um, this is looking really promising for the two of you. But do be careful of these falsities, okay? Very strong, passionate chemistry between the two of you. Um, it's like the Eminem song, isn't it? Uh, Love the way you lie. That's what happens when a tornado meets a volcano. That is you and your person's energy. So just be careful when they do get back in contact. But yeah, they will. It's not far away either. Like I said, it's in the background of all of you guys' energy. And with that uh, basket case, I'm sure it was called song at the very, very start. There is that wanting to communicate with you. Do you have the time to listen to me whine about nothing and everything all at once? They really want to value the connection for what it is. You know, they, they want to live in the moment with you rather than planning too far into the future. When they start thinking about the future, this is when they get a little bit itchy. <laughs> Spirit is saying when they get a little bit itchy, they get a little bit vulnerable, or itchy, and they don't really know how to handle it. So they can potentially withdraw. When they do come back to you, really do stay focused on the moment. As the Dalai Lama said, if you focus on the past, you have depression. Focus on the future, you have anxiety. If you focus on the here and now, you're going to remain in that center of calmness. So yes, when they get back, it is going to be super exciting. If you want to speed it up and manifest it, let me know and we can do a manifesting plan. 
and have really good success, right? Um, so bring the outcome to you, bring that contact to you, but make sure that you are prioritizing yourself rather than the person. The more energy you put into yourself, the more focus you put on yourself about where you're doing and try and put your person to the back of your mind, the more this situation is gonna move quickly in your favor. It's that beautiful paradox, isn't it, of when we want something, we hold on to it so much. Um, and we don't get it, but as soon as we say, no, that's it, you know what, I'm done, I've had enough, we release it, we send it out to the universe, and that's when the universe can do its magic and bring it towards you. And that, to be said, is with this contact as well coming forward. So yes, contact is gonna come back, beware of falsities, pay attention to their actions and not their words, and it is gonna be on a, the 20th of a month or in 20 days as your collective timing. Okay, guys, so if you need me, give me a shout. I will put all the details in the comments for you. Our website is up and running. Turnaround time is down to 7 to 14 days at the moment. Uh, so just give me a shout if you want me. All right, guys, lots of love to deck number one. Speak to you soon. Okay, guys, so deck number two. Now, before I get started on this, um, when I said pick a deck at the very, very start, when I said pick a card, um, I put them down face like this and then this card is just kind of staring up at me. So this is a card that we need to acknowledge before we actually start your reading. Two of Cups. Your person does very, very much love you. They have these very strong feelings for you. In the sense of the connection between the two of you, this can sometimes be seen as a little bit of a Disney type relationship. Like what everyone kind of aspires to as kids. Um, you know, everything that you want. I just saw Snow White sitting over the well, calling her Prince Charming in. This is essentially the connection between the two of you. It's a very, very magical, spiritual connection and the love between the two of you is really strong. So I'm just gonna put that down um, and then if it comes up again, it's meant to be. Okay, get me into deck number two's energy, please. My loved ones, help us, guys. Okay, deck number two. Number two. Deck number two, can you uh, think about your person for me? Can you get me into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? And let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes of everyone involved in deck number two. So as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Readings are timeless. Um, reason for that is because psychics have no... We have no conception of time because to us, the past, present, future are all interlinked. So whenever you watch this, your future energy will already be, be watching it. Pretty neat, right? Okay. Can you tell me, please, will their person get in contact with them? So I'm going to do your tarot and then I've got the Lenorma, Lenorma to get your specific timings on it. Will they get in contact? I haven't used this deck in ages. <laughs> my guy just said to me I love this card I love this card and he just said that uh, it's the cat that got the cream love that card but he's got a little birdie in his mouth will they get in contact three Wait. good cards super good those of you that do tarot nine of cups four of wands wheel of fortune queen of swords Okay, let me just get three more for a bit of additional information. So we know that your person loves you right from the very start with the two of cups. Um, I've got a song coming forward saying, uh, say you won't let go, which I feel or think it was a British artist, but I can't remember his name. I never thought he was particularly good but I can hear that song coming through my right ear. I've also got um, Ed Sheeran coming up again, not one of my favourites, but he is coming up. Um, and it is the song about the photograph, you can keep me in the pocket of your ripped jeans. Now, don't take that as such a negative, it's such a beautiful song, it makes my eyes well up when I listen to it, even though I'm not an Ed Sheeran girl. Um, but what they're saying, with that song is that the connection is still there. It hasn't gone anywhere, it hasn't faded and they are still thinking about you. Um, and in fact, some of them probably have still got your pictures and they are still looking at your pictures. And if not, with the page of swords over here, social media, they are watching you. And I said the same in deck number one, but the energy between the two decks, sometimes you guys will push your energy into both decks. So if you're sitting here watching deck number one and deck number two, your person is definitely watching your social media, okay? They are thinking things through. Um, they are trying to see what direction this is going in. In a sense, they are trying to predict the future. 
okay? So your person isn't necessarily spiritual, isn't necessarily psychic, but they're wondering if there is a way back to you, how are they going to go about it? And they're contemplating their choices and their decisions on that. They've seen that you have floated away from the situation. So even if they are the ones that have ghosted you or whether you've broken up, they are seeing that actually it is you that has gone away from the situation. That is how they are perceiving it. Okay, so they're seeing it as a point of view that you have stepped away from the situation. You've gone on your travels. And through you kind of stepping away from it, not chasing them, not calling them, not begging them, being in that power-based energy, they can feel now that you have withdrawn and that withdrawal from the situation is making them panic. Hence why the social media card is really sticking up here that they are going to be watching everything you are up to. They saw this relationship kind of as a bit of a fairy tale relationship again spirit are saying it went a bit wrong it went a bit peaked on no matter what your circumstances were um and again you kind of have backed away from the situation or they have made you back away from the situation either way there was this great feeling of loss going on they feel like they had all their hopes their aspirations their dreams right before their eyes and they vanished from it they they made they made these choices and they vanished from it Spirit is saying with that, it does take two hands to clap. And a lot, I know a lot of you won't want to hear that because you'll think it, you know, the other person is the person that caused the crap. But your person is actually viewing it as that you are the one that has gone away, despite what their actions were, despite what their motives were. They are seeing that you are the one that has vanished, whether they are the one that is ghosting you or whether they're just not in contact. So floating away from problems, feelings of loss, feeling that they have stepped away from the situation. Coming on from there, Six of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Queen of Swords, Four of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. Boom, boom. Um, really, really positive cards. Over here, we have someone from your past returning to you. They're working it all out at the mo this moment in time with the Seven of Pentacles. They're thinking it through. They want to reap the rewards of this connection. They want to reconcile. They want this relationship to come forward to the next chapter. And with that, with the Six of Cups, there is definitely a reconnection of your two energy. And even if it's just the Six of Cups alone, that's enough to say someone from your past is returning to you. But if we put all the cards on the top, in a row, you can see really clearly that they're coming out. So we have your celebration over here. We have your nine of cups, your wishes coming true. We have your wheel of fortune. Now the way for this situation to turn into your favor is by staying in your queen of swords energy. So you guys, queen of swords, high priestess, six of swords over here, you have walked away or you have took a step back from the connection, all credit to you. Because what's happening now is your person is realizing that you're not gonna tolerate their BS much longer. And through that lack of toleration that you are given them they are wanting to connect back up with you and like the spirit said at the start with the cat that's got the cream they are wanting this connection to re-establish i just heard um you only know you love her when you let her go was that passenger or voyager or something you only and you only know you love her when you let her go you only miss the road when you only miss home when you're on the road something like that okay so yes the connection is already re-establishing i wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you heard of your person in the coming days and coming weeks and um, anywhere that they felt trapped from this situation before they have now took a step away from they're feeling a lot more positive they are feeling ready to re-establish the connection between the two of you Again, over here, working it through, working out how to reconcile with you, working out what moves to take, working out how you're going to handle it when they do communicate with you. Um, but all of these really spinning in your favour. Things are changing. With the wheel um, over here, it is important. Uh, we have got forget-me-nots on here as well. But it's important with this wheel that any cycles that you guys have been involved in in the past, um, anywhere that this cycle has repeated, that you openly communicate to break that negative energy that can be coming from that, which will then lead to a positive. All your energies are aligning on a universal level, Spirit is saying. The cat got the birdie out the cage and he's sitting there really chuffed with himself. Your person is wanting this connection. And with the four of ones over here, twin flame card or 11-11, um, celebration coming into your favour. So yes, there is direct, direct... Um, contact okay can you tell me when they are going to get in contact when are debt number two's people going to get in contact with them when 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 what's the strongest mutual timing interesting you've got the same card as that number one so this is saying over here that you're going to have a social gathering between the two of you you're going to be meeting up could be a date 
um, anything along those lines, you have that gathering happening. Um, also, potentially, if you are seeing one another, it's going to start coming out in public that you guys are seeing each other. Um, news is coming forward. A message is definitely stepping in. Cards are saying it is going to be very soon, as I said to you with the tarot. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's even a couple of days or a couple of weeks. And through that, they're going to be expression, expressing to you their emotions. There's going to be this need to commit, commit to you and the connection, okay? So very much shifting right here, right now, as we're talking. There's a super exciting buzz for deck number two. So love, feelings, relationships, moving, shifting, shifting news, offering you commit commitment, offering you what you want, timing on it very soon, days and weeks. Um, if that doesn't come to pass and it goes a little bit longer, you're probably going to be looking about Valentine's Day and February. So it's, that's a little bit further away, but the majority of you, it isn't that time. The majority of you, it is in the coming weeks, coming month, a couple, but it's, it's, it's happening now. It's all happening now. Anything else? Yeah. You are going to be very strongly impacted by this love that they're going to be offering you. Um, you will still be in your Queen of Swords energy. You will still be in your power based energy. But there is an impact on this. And you're actually going to really feel their connection between the two of you. You're going to see, look at Lily's. You're going to see this honest connection between you both. The purity of it. You're going to feel like you've grown from what, everything that has happened in the past. Um, so that when they do come back, you're not going to tolerate their shit anymore. And you guys are going to really build this connection up to form it into a relationship. So it's really, really positive. It's going to start off with a meeting. Could be a meeting on social media. Do bear that in mind, especially with your page of swords over here. Um, or it could be a meeting over text message. But there is going to be a meeting where news is communicated. That news that is being communicated is about their love for you. That love that is being communicated is really going to impact you. And that impact that it's going to have on you is going to bring in the connection to a space of honesty and purity and bringing things forward. Very sensual feeling with that as well. It's really going to touch your heart, what they say to you. Um, the falsities that they've been placing is going to fade away and they will openly express what's going on. So really, really positive cards. This looks really, really good. And it's, it's very, very soon. Very soon. Okay, so keep putting one foot in front of the next. Keep doing exactly what you're doing. Do not let those negative thoughts get in your way. Um, really focus on the positives over here. Okay, and over here. Really focus on the positives of it all. Um, and this is going to bring things into your favour ASAP. ASAP. Really good cards. Very, very soon. Very soon you are going to hear from your person. Okay, guys, uh, and that is deck number two. So if you need me, I will put all the details in the comments for you. Turnaround time is down to seven to 14 days now. If you want to book a private reading, just give me a shout. Uh, all the details are on the websites as well as all the different types of readings that I do at the moment. Um, anything else we need to tell you? No, that's it. In October, I am going away uh, for a week theoretically because I have the London Tarot Conference and I'm also meant to be going to Poland though I'm not really sure if that's actually going to happen and um, so if you want to book now is probably the time to do it just because I'm going to be a bit held up as October hits and that's it okay guys have a really good week uh, I love you all to pieces and I will speak to you soon god bless my angels bye